One of the more underestimated, underutilized functionalities in Excel is the table. Now, I know that sounds funny because you're looking at this and thinking, hey, isn't this a table? Well, that's a table to you and me, but it's not a table to Excel. Excel considers that to be a range. And now, it's a big range, but it's still a range. A table is actually an object that Excel creates on top of a range that has some pretty neat features to it. Now, on the Insert tab, you'll actually see Table. What you can do is put your cursor inside of your data range, select Table, and it's going to ask you, where's the data for your table? This is it. My table has headers, yes and I'm going to press OK. So that automatically converts this range into something that looks pretty fancy and it looks like it's nothing more than just formatting changes but there's much more going on here. The first thing you'll notice is when you put your cursor anywhere inside the table a contextual tab pops up that says Table Tools Design. If you click on this you'll get a whole series of options that are related to tables. One of those options is Table Styles. You can quickly apply a new style to your table and your table will apply that style. Another thing you'll notice is as you scroll down, if your table header disappears out of view, notice how the column headings change to the header names. So I've got A, B, C, D, E, F. Now I scroll down and those are now region, market, store, revenue last year, forecast next year, and variable cost. That's a functionality of a table. Another thing you'll notice here is if I type in a new column, and I call this variance to revenue last year and I hit enter the table automatically expands to include this new column so this basically tells Excel that you're adding a new column to your table object now you'll notice that if I type in a formula here let's say equals forecast next year divided by revenue last year minus one Look at these range references. These aren't your normal A, B, C, D, E references. This is essentially saying forecast next year field divided by revenue next last year field. So this table object is actually building its own formula based on its own mechanisms that will essentially perform your calculation. And when I press enter, look what happens. Not only does this particular formula apply to the cell that I created in it also applies to every single row in the table and that's because it's no longer a range it's actually a self-contained object so now I can apply a percentage symbol here and I have a new field in my table another impressive thing about tables are the style options that you can quickly apply I can put my cursor inside the table go to the design tab and you can see something here called style options so of course I've got banded rows. I can quickly remove them or add them back. I can add banded columns if I wanted to. I can make the header go away if I wanted to. I can make the first column bolded, last column bolded, or I can add a total row. Adding a total row will actually add this row at the bottom of the table. And here when I click on each one of these columns, I have the option of adding whatever functionality or operation I need. So here I want to sum. Here I want a sum, and here I'd like a sum. And finally, if I go to the Design tab again, you'll see something called Summarize with Pivot Table. I can take this table and create a pivot table off of it very quickly by clicking on this Summarize with Pivot Table, and you'll notice that the source data for this pivot table is going to be called Table 1. This basically means that the pivot table is tied to the table, Table 1, not necessarily the range that it occupies. The benefit of this is that as your table grows and shrinks, your pivot table will always grow and shrink with it. Although you'll have to refresh your pivot table, you'll never have to reapply a data source or redefine your data source. So again, if you've got these big data ranges in your Excel models, why not convert them to tables and get this extra functionality?